Hi everyone, Nikki here, just showing you the other 20 pages of my JB5s um, that Shannon Green organised on Facebook. So if you're one of those people that like doing that sort of thing, then search for us and join us because it's really good fun. So with my other 20 pages, I didn't use the Stampin' Up! reinkers because I found they leaked a bit and on some of my other pages you'll see that things leaked through but I've learnt things for if I ever do this again so for my backgrounds on this one I used Tim Holtz inks and then spritzed a bit of water water wasn't the best idea because like I said it's leaked through to some of the other pages but all a learning curve and I probably will do one of these again I'm thinking my next one I might do a Christmas one because like I said I've got so many toppers and this way is a really good way for me to use that stuff rather than going out buying stuff so when I'm at work because I work in a charity shop I'm going to see if I can get some books that we would be throwing out so I just had some hair in my mouth then um throwing out to buy give a donation for and then revamp them so who knows what could be in the future for me right so with this one yeah, like I said, Tim Holtz ink. There's a little bit of bleed through on each page from when I use the Stamping Up re ink refills, which I really like because it gives a bit more texture. So I'm doodling with my Spectrum Noir pencils because I thought I'd do pencils this time. Some scrap paper, flower fairy because, like I said before, I like flower fairies. Uh, this one, just wanted to do something really bright and jolly. This is these bits here are off an old birthday card, not from me because I'm right, really lucky. A lot of my toppers come from my own birthday cards and stuff, but I've also got customers and friends that give me old cards. So I, like I said, I have loads of toppers, keep me going for a lifetime and somebody else's probably. Um, that just cut out from one of my craft magazines because I don't really buy women's magazines will have fashion catalogues so my magazines are normally crafting ones so I just pinch that out of there um, Sainsbury's voucher bit of paper uh, oops. more from a magazine some stamps these are a mixture free from a magazine and then you can't see it too well but I had a clarity one and it's got a butter let's see if I can find it sorry I'm going to be rummaging I don't know if you can see it too well. Oh, if I put my hand behind it, you might be able to see it a bit more. But it's got like a butterfly, and it's all, almost like a hessian effect there. So it's a bit of a mishmash stamp, as I call it. So I use that in places. I'll just put that back there. Uh, another thing from a card, a little bit of pencil around there. Uh, another scrap bit of paper from a magazine another card and then I've cud cuddled coloured in little bits on the stamps and just highlighted that one and more magazine bits another card more doodling and you can probably also guess that I really love animals I have a miniature labradoodle called Lexi and then I have a cat which lives with my mum and dad because she can't be separated from her brother because they love each other to bits. So, so really I have a dog and a cat and I just love animals. So I put that on there because it actually said thinking of you but I just took out the thinking because it looks like he's thinking and he's just so cute. Um, another little stamp and I like the word love. As you can see what I was on about, the inks bled, bled through. I'm leaving it there as a learning experience. Um, more papers from there because I really like the colours in it. A little bit of stamping. Some doodling up the top there. I'm not very artistic so my doodles aren't that great. Well, who can love him? So he had to go in there. And this is when I was um, drying off from inking the Tim Holtz inks. I used the kitchen roll paper from that and just stuck that in stamped on it and I like how it gives a bit of texture to the paper uh, another little doggy uh, more bits of paper more um, kitchen roll and then I coloured in on that and I really like how it's given 
and textures so I'm definitely going to be doing that again I think uh, little duckies and because it says add colour I thought that's what we've been doing adding loads of colour and this time I didn't get too inky on my hands uh, more of my naff doodling uh, sorry I keep getting my arm in the way little birdie and teacup because I just really like the colours uh, some leftover glitter paper I brought it ages ago to go to use in car projects and I never did so I thought well, I'll stick it in here because I can that can no that's not one uh, little teddy bear having a tea party because who doesn't love tea and cake so um, and just some little bits of paper I didn't want to cover that up too much because I already liked how there was some text in left over from my old paper because what I've used oh sorry I've just skipped the camera what I've used from my pages is scrap bits of copy of paper that the printer's printed off or stuff I don't need to keep so that's that one sorry I was starting to hum then I thought oh, I better not do that little cute I just love these kittens in their hammocks I've put that in there a lot of this is stuff that's made me feel happy there's no real reason why I've put it in there I've just liked it and it's made me happy so that's why it's gone in there um, one of the flowers coloured in with the pencils and I like that I've used a scrap bit of paper to show the ink underneath I might do that more in the future so I quite like that actually more in this part that I like and because I had Bugs Bunny I thought you've got to have Duffy Duck more of that glitter paper that I wish I never brought uh, this is stamping up paper and then I just cut the word away Daffy Duck and stuck it there a little bit of doodling uh, flowers because I like flowers as well uh, more paper highlighted it with some pencil to try and make it pop out a bit more uh, I don't know why I put them in there because it's not even something I would wear especially gloves with lace on and shorts with crop shorts with lace where well, my days are very short shorts are definitely long gone but I just like the colour and I liked how they had done it in a watercolour effect so they went in there um, more paper more stamps and as I've got into crochet as well as um, paper crafting I thought I found this in a magazine and it's got teals and blues in it and that's like my fave sort of colours so I didn't have any words for it so as you can tell I badly wrote I like I love crochet with my pencils and I thought I'd just put that in there because I really like crochet and I've made a doll's blanket in that sort of pattern so I thought I'd put that in there um, oops, yeah. more you know. oops so I thought it had stuck together I just thought that was quite funny and quirky so I stuck that in there um, bits of paper um, no I didn't do any doodling on that one because I just didn't, I think it had stuck together so I forgot about it um, just like the picture like the candles because I also really like Yankee candles but with having Lexi it's not possible because she's either barking it or jump, try and jump up at it so candles for me are no more now with having her so I also wrote I also love colour teal and blues so I'll just put that there and then this one I just like these crochet flowers because like I said I'm master, trying to master crochet so I thought I'd put them in there a bit of doodling around the outside to try and make the picture pop more and on my last page I was like oh my god I haven't got any more um toppers so I just grabbed something that was in the pile don't get me wrong I do like ducks it's just not quite what I would have put with this page but like I said this is my first book so it's a learning curve so thank you very much for looking and thank you again Shannon for getting me into this fun style of crafting bye